Hello, welcome to gpantutor.com. We are going to discuss about parental products. This chapter has been included in Pharmaceutics Division of gpantutor.com. Parental is a word derived from combination of the two subwords para and enterum, means other than intestine or to avoid intestine. The origin of this word is from the Greek. The parental articles from United States Pharmacopoeia and the National Formulary has been defined as Parentals are those preparations intended for injection through the skin or other external boundary tissue rather than through the elementary canal so that the active substances they contain are administered using gravity or force directly into the blood vessel, organ, tissue or directly into the lesion. An injection is a preparation intended for parental administration and or for constituting or diluting a parental article prior to administration. These type of dosage forms are offering so many advantages, especially when the oral route of administration is contraindicated or not possible. These parental products are frequently used in a clinical or institutional or inpatient settings. The table provided in the coming slides will give you the comprehensive information about advantages and disadvantages of the parental products. For the time being, the parentals are offering the following advantages. We can design a parental product as per our criteria. For example, parental products are administrating intravenously to provide rapid onset of action, rapid quick onset of action, especially in case of systemic infections. At the same time, we can develop uh, the parental products for long-term drug delivery systems along with the targeted drug delivery systems. The main disadvantage of the parental product is related to their safety and related to infection and thrombosis, tissue damage and or pain upon injection. And at the same time, we need to use the requirements for specific equipment, specific devices and techniques and environment. These are all makes the parental products highly expensive products. You are following parental products chapter in gpatyoto.com. This table will give you the comprehensive and complete idea about advantages and disadvantages of the parental drugs and administration. Coming to the advantages, this is the right route of administration when the patient is unconscious unable to take orally. It provides a rapid and a quick onset of action, very useful in emergency situations. In case of subcutaneous injections, the patient can be administered by himself or herself. We can avoid the drugs and make the drugs more bioavailable if they are undergoing a first pass metabolism by the liver. And it is useful to introduce the drug directly into a respective tissue by means of a targeted drug delivery system. So coming to the disadvantages, there may be a chance of potential sepsis, thrombophilbitis, and fluid overload, air embolism, and extravasation. For continuous clinical settings, chronic clinical settings, expensive method, and it is costly to produce. There may be a chance of infection at the site of injection and psychological distress by the patient may also be as a disadvantage or as associated with parental products. Usually the parental products are classified into two types, small volume parentals and large volume parentals based on their availability in volumes. Small volume parentals or injections are having maximum less 100 ml or less than 100 ml. They are provided in a sometimes single and multiple dose containers. In large volume parentals, the volume is definitely more than 100 ml and it can be carried up to 1 liter in case of IV infusions. They have been given only in single dose containers or single dose injections. Both the cases, they should be pyrogen free, particulate mat free from particulate matter and they should be isotonic with the normal body fluids. US Pharmacopoeia 
classifies the injections into five different types. The dosage form selected for a particular drug product is mainly dependent upon number one, the characteristics of the drug molecule, that means stability in the solution, stability in uh, infusion, continuous in infusion, and also solubility and injectability. The second classified drug is uh, depends upon the desired therapeutic effect of the product, sometimes immediate, sometimes release, sometimes targeted, sometimes uh, more time effectiveness. The desired therapeutic effect of the product is also makes the compounds different. The desired route of administration is the third variety of classification provided by United States Pharmacopoeia. And sometimes the type of the product, that means they are sometimes pure solutions, true solutions, and sometimes they are emulsions. In both the cases, they are miscible with the blood and can be injected via parental routes of administration. Fifth classification is provides uh, the dosage forms which are immiscible with the blood. I mean not miscible with the blood and they are employing oleogenous vehicles or non-aqueous vehicles, sometimes suspensions and uh, non-aqueous injections. They have been administered via intramuscular route of administration or sometimes subcutaneous route of administration. Usually, a small volume product is available for most of the majority therapeutic classifications provided by the USP. Apart from these, some words have been frequently used on the label of the parental products. We are going to discuss about these words. You are following Parental Products chapter in gpatheater.com. This chapter has been included in Pharmaceutics Division and you are watching and listening the sample video of uh, Parental Products. A drug injection is a liquid preparation that is composed of the drug substances or solutions. A drug for injection is a solid, usually a lyophilized or freeze-dried product, which requires further dilution or further reconstitution by the addition of a respective vehicle, mostly water for injection, provides a solution that confirms the requirements for an injection. A drug injectable emulsion is a liquid preparation of the drug or a drug substance dissolved in a suitable emulsion vehicle. A drug injectable suspension is a liquid preparation of solids suspended in a suitable vehicle. A drug for injectable suspension is again a dry solid, often lyophilized or freeze dried, which upon dilution by adding a suitable vehicle will get a sterile suspension ready for injection, which produces a preparation that all aspects meets the requirements of an injectable suspension. Low volume parenterals are often administered via intravenous infusion in a large single dose container. The therapeutic goal of these products is to provide electrolytes, body fluids and nutrition. The large volume parenterals are always purely sterile products. They are always pyrogen free. They are highly transparent. There should not be any particulate matter there should not be any cloudiness and the main aim is to provide the solutions should may or may not be isotonic with the blood depending upon the concentration of the components which includes sodium chloride, dextrose, mannitol, ringer and lactate root ringer at the same time they contain sodium bicarbonate, ammonium chloride, sodium lactate, fructose, alcohol and dextrin and amino acids you are following the chapter parental products. For more complete details of this chapter, please log on to the gpatutor.com. gpatutor.com is a comprehensive, complete information for graduate pharmacy aptitude test for pharmacy students. This website is a providing preparation material along with mock exams, expert exams and sample videos. For complete details please register on gpantutor.com and learn more. Thank you very much.